the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Today I'm going to be talking about Young Ads. He's very known in the trap wave scene, hip hop rap here in the UK and very known amongst the youth who follow drill music. He comes from an industry that, let's face it, glorifies money, drugs, violence and women. And accordingly their audience desires it. And not only desires it, but uses it as a yardstick and as a measure of success. But despite being in such a toxic industry, it's very interesting how he still turns to Islam for guidance. In his recent interview, he talked about the importance of marriage in Islam. But well, what do you guys think about marriage though? We're Muslim, innit? So you're supposed to be married. You know, we don't do this girlfriend thing and all that. So, well, you shouldn't. Mm. Like a lot of other sins. So you should be with someone you want to marry. Or you should marry in it. You know what I mean? And also expose the fact that he's married as well. Can you see one day that it'll go that way for you guys? Yeah. I'm married now. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then congratulations to you as well. Song, That's right? what I say on the song. Yeah, because I heard I you say... I never wanted to get married. Yeah. My intentions weren't to get married. I was, I was Team Streets. Yeah. But you meet the right one. And then... Okay. Some people see people's sins and discourage them from the little good that they do. They'll see somebody doing drugs and say, You're doing drugs? <laughs> and now you want to pray Salah? Or someone with hijab. Oh, you're wearing the hijab and you're doing this? Take off the hijab, mate. But what if it's that very good deed that's the means of their reformation? Now don't get me wrong, if a person sins publicly and utilizes and uses Islam, of course, I can't defend that at all. Yeah, or if a person claims to have some sort of affinity with the religion but is doing haram, they're doing damage to the religion, frankly. But at the very least, don't write this person off completely. Don't discard them totally. Work on them slowly, slowly. Don't leave them. A lot of us do need a second chance. And a lot of these people, this world is all that they know. They've grown up in these estates and ghettos and stuff like that. And with such individuals, you really have to empathize with them. I'm not saying give them a free pass. I'm saying, look, don't wipe them out completely. Understand where they're coming from. Don't just lecture them and give them the bare bones of the religion. Because even when Islam came, it didn't initially come with rules and regulations. It came with details about paradise and about the hellfire and about Iman and faith and the likes. And let's not forget people like young ads are converts to the religion yet yeah? or reverts to the religion. So that brings me on to my main question. When surrounded by women and let's face it the women in these music videos have been handpicked and they're beautiful. They have very prominent features that the rappers want to be displayed so it makes them look good. Why is it that a person that's surrounded with such women still opts for marriage? And as he said, looking for the right one. Meet the right one. Why? Because it shows that sleeping around and being with one woman after another just simply doesn't cut it for us. And let's look at marriage. That offers commitment, spiritual ease. Yeah, you don't feel guilty and true love. And let's look at womanizing. That carries so many risks. Spiritual discomfort, heartbreak, distraction, addiction and the likes. And Young Ads is not the only one that has turned towards marriage. Friends of Harami, who again some of you know from the drill and the rap scene and I interviewed him some time ago as well. He's also married. So this is to the critics of Islam who don't have a single leg to stand up. Because here we have people that are labelled as delinquents, dangerous and lost. And they're offering categorical imperatives, subjective morality and their judicial system. And they're not doing anything. It's just not getting the job done. Along comes Islam and look how it tames such people. People that are surrounded by women getting them to stay and dedicate themselves to one woman 
look, whatever happens, let's face it, Allah knows best if he, you know, does go around. But for him to be able, because let's face it, it doesn't make him look masculine yeah? <laughs> in his scene, like, like, like he's admitting. It doesn't make him look like the hip hop star and the drill star that people look up to. Yeah, I'm married, mate. I okay, might have a kid on the way, mate. Doesn't work like that. So what is taming him? And this is, I've made a video on this guy before also. Yeah, where he says that when he turns 30, he wants to cut off his dreads and move to Saudi. Well, a lot's going on in Saudi, but of course it's like a metaphor saying I want to go to a Muslim country because this is not the life. I'm just doing it because it's all I know. I want to get the money because let's face it, I mean, who's going to hire people like this? So to these people, Islam comes along, tames them. And look how it resonates with them. So I'm going to end with this. The true worth of a drug is measured by the severity of the disease it cures. We've seen what Islam is curing. And what cure are you guys offering? Oh, a suicide machine. Is that really what you're offering? It seems like these individuals just seem to mask the problems. Oh, I'm depressed. I've got problems. No problem. Just pop pills or you can kill yourself. Oh, I'm unfulfilled with reality. No problem. Just binge watch on Netflix, mate. What Islam does to such suicide machines is pull the plug. It offers unapologetic help to the people who need it. And let's face it, it grants you success in this world and in the hereafter. And that's why even such people are attracted to the light of Islam. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.